which is not anything new. I wonder if it gives you like a hey, we're live thing. Else but yeah, I don't know why that is either. There's our tweet. All right, we're live at CDA 2015. I'm Tom Albright. Yeah, get over here. Get, get, oh, wait, no. Yeah, that's something. Get over here. That's Uncle Richie. Richie. That's Uncle Richie. There's Heather Sidorowitz. Hello. There's Heather Sidorowitz's husband. <laughs> there's Hi. Steve Greenblatt. And there's Victoria Ferrari. All right, so. I'm on. I'm eight, eight, eight. So he lost signal. I don't know. Forget it. We're still, we're still doing this. Um, all right, Mr. Uncle Richie. Yeah. Forgoza, first thing for you. Uh, this is your, you took a 10 year hiatus from Cedia. You've been back for. Three years, four years, four now? years now. I want to say. It's the first year. You came back. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's not been so four, yeah, eleven. Yeah. yeah. All right. So first day. What's your what's your takeaway from the first day? Uh, takeaway from the first day. It's uh, it feels like it's another evolutionary year again. I I, I've almost feel like I'm coining it the year of kind of 4K and uh, every other manufacturer with music is saying we're not Sonos, but here we've got a box that's just like Sonos, right? <laughs> There's only Sonos cool. with a C. Yeah, exactly. Chronos. 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 So not. All right. So, um, but a lot of 4K. It's uh, the integrators that are here. I mean, they're definitely, everybody seems like they're walking around with a purpose. Um, and we're seeing, again, the, the next the next iteration of everything being IP at mm -hmm. this point. I mean, there is, a, a, we've got a water spout that's got, you know, an IP connection to it. So, you know, when we've got, when you've got water levers at this point, it's like, yeah, uh, that's what we're seeing right now. So it's a, it's a good, it was a good first day. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Heather, yeah. you took part in the brand new Cedia bookie. Um, yeah. First time, first, first timer, timer event. event. This morning. How was that? How many people were there? There was over a hundred. Oh I would gosh. say like 120. It was amazing. So, um, they came in, they offered them a free breakfast, mm -hmm. hot food and coffee and about 120 people came. Frank White told us a great story about pornography. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think that it was great to get that many new people. Um, I was in the class earlier today, and uh, maybe 15% of the class was also new people. Yeah. So that's exciting that companies are growing, new people are getting involved in the industry. Um, so it, there's an undercurrent. There's, a, there's an exciting undercurrent. All right, very good. All right, Mr. Greenblatt, uh, my buddy from uh, State of Control and also his own ticket deal, um, uh, Control Concepts. He and I actually just came back from the Crestron, uh, 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 Crestron Service Provider meeting, uh, which is, is residential focused. Um, so your first day here, obviously, what's, uh, what's your takeaway from the first day? Well, I think the big word that everybody's saying is busy. So I think that's an easy one. You're busy one. or it's busy? Everybody's busy. All right. So, uh, you know, I came here to, to find out what does what the future look like. And, and also one of the things that everybody, a lot of talk is about how the experience at home and the boardroom need to, to jive. So the technology is beca becoming more a part of people's lives. And then they go to the boardroom and they want to be able to say, why can I can't, can I do this here when I've been able to do it at home forever? So uh, that, that's one of the things that I that I look for. Um, of course, the networking and all those types of things. The uh, the thing that was great about the CSP meeting, the uh, it, it sounds like there's been a lot of progression and companies that used to be one and two man shops and just focusing purely on programming have now expanded into businesses and I hmm. think that, that that's pretty exciting is this so, so hang on for a second because it, this is this is a term that came up during the CECI summit um, light residential is that what you're talking about I, th I think more about how we we used to be kind of the, the hired gun and you know or the specialist or or the outsourced uh, freelancer and now you're looking at a lot of companies that have multiple people and are doing a lot of things and they've built a company around supporting control systems support and, and now supporting the whole EV system and how the control programmer we talked about how much of the of your time is spent doing programming mm -hmm. versus doing other things and and that I, I can attest it, programming is the easy part of our job. It's doing all the other parts that that are the challenges, supporting all the new devices, managing, setting, and uh, and making sure that the scope stays somewhat contained, 
and being able to interface with the different players. But, but you know, we're also kind of elevating our role within within a project. Okay. Uh, first timer, we're going to get her on here. She is a pro <laughs> AV tweet. Oh. Her name is Hello. Victoria Ferrari. Hi. And she works for Synergy CT. So what was your first day's experience? So it was my first day at Cedia, and um, it was really cool to see, you know, the booths are, even even the commercial uh, integrators that sell residential products, the booths are, are smaller, they're more streamlined. Um, I feel like they the booths are a little prettier, like they have some architecture, you know, architectural. They're prettier than Infocom. Yes, okay. they're prettier. <laughs> they're like, they feel more open, you know, the ones I've seen. Um, and they have like, you know, like I passed a booth that looked like uh, Ikea, you know, it had like a kitchen and a living room and I didn't get to go into that one, but it was cool. Yeah, so it was, uh, it's interesting. It's definitely, it's a smaller show, but um, still, you know, they're showing high end, you know, products that for the home that they're really cool. All right, very good. All right, last but not least, um, my other uh, residential friend here, um, Mr. Uh, Omega Audio Video, Matt Scott. How was your first day? My first day was fantastic. We're, we're recording in the press room. I know. All sides with the drinks. It's rotating all so around. We are. We are. We are. So how was it? It Speak was good. Camera. It was It was very entertaining. Um, got around, so quite a few things. I think probably the biggest thing I saw was the proliferation of high-end video for consumer uh, home theaters, essentially people or manufacturers, I should say, taking really that commercial theater environment and recreating it in a residential sense, which is a little ridiculous. Really? Are you sure? So that, that was very cool. And I, I saw some great laser projection demos, which always makes From? me happy. From? Well, Barco had a great one. Uh, I'm blanking on the name of the other one. Um, I really should know what this is. It's bad. Anyways, um, it was fantastic. And DPI, of course, has a great one. Yeah. I heard Sony was good, but I haven't been in it yet. I've not seen Sony's booth, but I've seen Sony in real life, and that's been very yeah, impressive. Yeah, it's very, very nice. Yeah, thanks. We also had, unfortunately, some pretty heavy news that occurred that was reported this morning. Yeah. Yes, well. go ahead and, and break that. So, uh, or sort of break it. Yes, well, I got the phone call in there. You, and, and, yeah. Yeah, so we... Uh, Unfortunately, uh, you know, we didn't until Cedia, but you know, two years ago with Cedia, Via Home announced their merger, and now two years later, they've announced their uh, the their uh, they were they are in receivership. So, yeah, it was not even a quiet demise. It was they shut the doors, said everybody go home, we're done. Good and night. So yeah, just that was uh, so. There's 335 employees in our industry that are without a job. <laughs> As of today. As of today. So, I mean, all those people complain that there are nobody good to hire. <laughs> well, yeah, it's been very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. There's, there, there's, there's the silver lining. <laughs> there are apparently 300 some odd people, depending on who you want. So, uh, my, my biggest takeaway from the day was two things. First of all, um, Legrand, who are, we have lots of friends that work there, and they redesigned their booth extremely. It was fantastic. It was fantastic. It, was, it actually reminded me of IKEA um, because it was very open, lots of natural wood well natural but it looks natural um it's very cool it, it, you know victoria brought this up and it speaks to a huge i want to say change just across the board that we're seeing uh from the keynote yesterday to the whole cd redesign just in general this part of the industry the av industry really seems to be going after that consumer that high-end consumer market mm -hmm. they are spending money putting their money where their mouth is as far as really trying to cater to the design aesthetic of the consumer and, and, you love and that. i do i absolutely do love it I, i'm tired of big ugly boxes of junk that the consumers cannot connect with this was fantastic and i hope most of the dealers take away and actually realize how much the industry even from one year to this year has changed and, and focused on that side of it. Everybody has pretty looking booths yeah. for once. They're not all just strictly form and function. They're pretty, they're designed to make you like the the products, like the, the solution they're providing to enjoy the experience, which is what we really need to be selling as our industry 
and our clients change. And it's not just the ones that you would expect, like the Crestrana Amex, the ones that sell furniture. No, like Legrand. Legrand. That, that was... Um, we went by Pack Edge. Their yeah, booth was their very booth was cool great. and CDS open. Cedia's booth. Holy cow. It looks yeah, like it's a, fantastic. It looks like the Apple Store. I was going to say, somebody said yeah. it looks like the Apple Store. All right. Like what Steve was saying, too, in the commercial space, people are asking for, they want to hide the TV. They want, yes. you know, things to be prettier. They, you know, don't want the ugly, big, huge, you know plasma screen anymore video walls awesome more most video walls i've ever seen at the same well well there's a lot of collaboration from like some major partners like comcast today yeah. um showed off their portal for the integration channel and they said oh yeah and by the way we're doing ip control oh and by the way we're going to throw in we're going to do atmos now yeah, yeah really yes, yes the new that's a big announcement holy cow. comcast is going Who to isn't doing atmos now <laughs> but sure it's a cable provider. I know. Yeah, that's why I'm saying, yeah. who isn't doing yeah, it now? Today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were we were talking with them, and they, they just kind of threw that in. Oh like, yeah. The by way. the way, by the way, yeah, we're doing Atmos. Jeez. Yeah, uh, but yeah, with with the, they're afraid. So they are they are serious about the integrator channel. It it was it was a little surprising. And yeah. Dish with you know they're they're coming guns up. 4K Joey. 4K Joey. And they have a gigantic Joey out there. <laughs> yeah. The giant the, the the large rabbit. That thing's what like thirty feet tall. Gotta be at least. It's a twelve foot. Bunny. It's a kangaroo. All right. Yeah, let's, anything's let's, gigantic. Let's go grab something to eat. All right, kids. So, so the other thing is is right before we, we actually right before we came over here, uh, got to run in our into our old friend Ben uh, Bruno. And oh my gosh, I cannot tell you how happy I am for this guy. I mean, just genuine and happy and thrilled to be here and thrilled to be at, at heading up CD now. So, and hopefully, uh, we can get him to tell the higher written story. Yes, that would be <laughs> awesome. Yes. Uh, so anyhow, so that's all we got. Um, with this is this is uh, Tom Albright with an entire cast and crew of, of Avian Nation. So thank you guys so much. We're gonna have some more fun. Uh, we'll come to you hopefully around this time again tomorrow and do something on Saturday as well. So CD 2015 day one. Thanks for watching.